Where am I? What's this painting? Right, I'm a Joseph's. Mm. What a night. Quite a celebration. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> Though, one drink too many. Mm. I'll check with Joseph and then I'm off to work. Close. Oh, right. Now, where did I put the key? Here it is. That's odd. I've been many times at Joseph's, but I've never seen this corridor before. The photographs seem very familiar, though. What's that? This room is bizarre. What's with this furniture? If I don't go out soon, I'll be late for work. Let's try it this way. Another letter? Ventilation hole? How on earth do I fit in here? These aren't the legs I'm used to. I know this sounds ludicrous, but can it be that I'm a, a bug? All right, stay calm. Let's find Jazz and move on from there. to fall from this high up. What a clutter. I think there is something on the table. Another letter? Almost. Ah, made it. And sticky. Oh. 
Although, this liquid should help me climb up. What in the...
this. Who are you? You called? Uh, yes, Anna should bring my breakfast. I'm afraid that won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? Preposterous, unprecedented, this is unheard of. And who then are you exactly? Were you expecting someone? On the contrary. I demand to know who you are. <laughs> and is there someone behind the door? You seem excited. <coughs> For sure I am. Does Miss Grubach know about this incident? I can't imagine this is acceptable for her. And who is in Frau Burstner's room? Do you know Miss Burstner well? She is my neighbor, of course I know her. I don't see how it's any of your concern. Just curious. How well? Uh, we are simply acquaintances. But why does that interest you? Has she done anything wrong? Why would she have done anything wrong? I have no idea. You tell me. Enough of this chicanery. Are you the police? Is Frau Burstner in some kind of trouble? <coughs> Why would she be in trouble? I don't know. You come in. Ask about her. What makes you think it's about her? Well, it's certainly not about me. Now, is it? You are the police. Were you expecting the police? <coughs> No, I wasn't expecting anybody, least of all you, whoever you are. I have to call Miss Grubach. Why do you need Miss Grubach? You just keep asking questions, don't you? Well, listen, you don't deny anything and you don't affirm anything. You just stand there and stare at me. What's your name and your function? Why do you need to know? Yeah. <laughs> 
Nothing happens by itself, Mr. K. Oh, give me a break. You seem to have an answer for everything. Because there is a reason for everything. Oh, like your visit today? Exactly. So how about... Who's there? Let's see. Wouldn't you rather just stay here? I want neither to stay here, nor to talk to you. I didn't mean anything wrong. Didn't France tell you to stay in your room? I demand to talk to Miss Grubach this instant. That won't be possible. What do you mean, not possible? I want to speak with my landlady. No. You can't leave. You are... arrested. Oh. Yes, it sure looks that way. Somebody must have made a false accusation. I don't see any other explanation. I'll get my papers. Preposterous. Okay, I seem not to be able to find my wallet. It might have been stolen from me. That would be most unfortunate. Indeed. How about you investigate that while you're here? Mr. Kai, our sole job was to look after you until the arrival of our supervisor. On the other hand, you should really calm down. I'm a very calm man. I'm very glad to hear that, Mr. K. How can I be under arrest? And above all, in such a way? Do you think we know anything about the proceedings of your case? We hardly know one end of the identity document from the other. We are merely junior officials tasked with watching over you for the next few hours. That's all we are. But well, we understand that before making any arrest, the high authorities that we serve make sure they're well informed of the case and the accused. Tell me, then, for what crime am I supposed to be under arrest? We're not allowed to tell you anything more about your arrest. Proceedings are underway, and you'll be told everything. All in good time. I'm already breaking the rules being so polite with you. I hope that only Franz can hear this. He too is much more polite than he ought to be. Quite frankly, if your luck with the guards continues, you have nothing to fear, Mr. Kai. Tell me truthfully, what sort of people are you? To what authority do you belong? Is this not a country of law and order? Ah, oh, wait. I see. This must be all in jest. I bet I could laugh in your face right now and you turn out to be a gentleman. Of course, I go for my colleagues at the hospital. Not the fall. In the meantime, don't trouble me. We have you thrashed. And that is well. Let me be, for heaven's sake. If you surprise me while I'm in bed in the morning, you can't expect me to be in my best suit. Since you need to get changed to be with Mr. K, it is better to hand your personal belongings. No, how long can they drag on? Cases like this.
long time, naturally. Oh, of course, it would get you cut from the sale. But it would only be a small sum. And its size is not determined by the size of the sale. But the size of the bribe one has to pay to get the transaction going. Sounds like you are the ones who want to bribe. God forbid! What are you suggesting, Mr. K? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm done speaking with you. A few words with someone on my, my level will make things incomparably clearer. <coughs> than the longest conversation with you. Bicycle license. I guess by the seriousness of this affair, a bicycle license should be enough. Enough for what? For identification. These are my documents. Now show me yours. Uh, and the arrest warrant. Dear God in heaven, why can't you simply understand your position and stop irritating us with all these pointless questions. This must be some kind of prank. I won't say another word until I see the supervisor. Suit yourself, Mr. Kai. No, I clearly need someone more intelligent to talk to. Oh my god, 
Young man, why are you here? My name is Joseph K. I know who you are. You are a friend of Gregor's Hamsa. Oh, you know Gregor? Didn't he refer me to you? No. No, my uncle did. He's an old acquaintance of mine. Ah, yes, of course. So is it about your trial? Yes, it is. <sighs> You've come at a very inappropriate moment. I was told to come now. I know, but you see, my desk is broken. 
Oh, what do you mean? Inside, I have the ledger with all the cases. Without <laughs> it, I cannot work. Well, can the desk be repaired? <laughs> Probably. But for now, we must await. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. <sighs> that is not important. What is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. The first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. That means we, generally, don't know, or at least not precisely, what the first documents need to be about. Anyway, usually the first submitted documents are mislaid or lost, and even if they do keep them right to the end, rumor says they are hardly ever read. This is all very regressible, but not entirely without its justification. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. Is that even possible? What? To keep the trial secret from the accused. Oh, it's usually possible to a very large extent. This sounds completely absurd. So what exactly is your role? The most important thing is the lawyer's personal connections. That's where the real value of taking counsel lies. Contacts with higher officials. Or with high officials, but with lower grades. That is the only way to influence the progress of the trial. Hardly noticeable at first, it's true. But as it progresses, it becomes more and more visible. There are, of course, not many lawyers who can do this. So you have made a good choice by coming to me. Do you already have some paperwork? <coughs> the law is tireless, and so are we, the defense. It should come to no surprise to you that we have an extensive network for relevant information. Your case is a very interesting one. Indeed, things like this don't come all of a sudden. They start developing a long time beforehand. There must have been warning signs of it. Could I see those documents? I'm afraid that is not possible at the moment. Not unless I know the date of your trial. It's in the ledger, which is currently blocked in my desk. I must see them. What is the legal basis for this? I guess my desk broke due to the laws of physics. I don't mean your broken desk. I mean the ledger, the trial date, and you showing me the documents. I just wouldn't know where to search for them. Besides, something said in private cannot be used in public. Therefore, you seeing those documents will not help your case. I would say it might even hinder the proceedings. Mr. Hold, I insist. Your trial is still in its infancy. You would get the wrong impression after reading them. They are destined for me, not for you. Trials run their course all by themselves. All they really need is a nudge from time to time. After reading the papers, you could get the wrong idea and start acting erratically. This would for sure complicate the case. This obviously is a very stupid system. How can one defend himself if he doesn't know what he stands accused of? It's far from being the lawyer's job to introduce any improvements in the court system or even to think about it. 
It's far from being the lawyer's job to introduce any improvements in the court system or even to think about it. Many of them spend time on the matter. Time that...
I see it? Uh, no, no, don't worry. But your desk, it's working. Don't get so excited, Mr. K. Please, keep your composure. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see. Uh, yes, just what I thought. As I mentioned before, the first set of documents need to be <laughs> This will take some time. Uh, so what about me? Should I just wait? That's what many of the accused choose to do in this situation. As a trial is still in its infancy, haste and action can bring more harm than good. You'll have to excuse me, but I cannot just sit and wait. Patience is a virtue, Mr. K. A virtue much appreciated by the judicial system. I suggest you go back to your everyday tasks at the... Uh, at the bank. That is where you work, no? How can one just continue a normal everyday life knowing that he is accused? That he is under suspicion? You will be surprised to discover how easy it is to get used to such a situation. After a certain moment, you won't even notice the ongoing trial. Great. But at least you can tell me when my hearing is, right? Not really. Isn't it written in your ledger? It is. But as your counsel, I can't really tell you. Mr. Hall, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges.
Oh, these staples. Oh, the certificate. Did I staple it on already? Anyway, it's official now. I'll put it with your documents. I don't quite remember why it was needed. Documents? What documents? Mr. Hold, I'm withdrawing your representation in my case with immediate effect. Do I understand you right? I think you do. Well, we can certainly discuss this plan of yours. It's not a plan anymore. We still mustn't rush anything. Nothing is being rushed. Everything has been thought through, probably for too long. The decision is final. Uh, then allow me to say a few words. You are running the risk of catching a cold for no reason. The circumstances are important enough and you've become impatient. I am not impatient. It is just that I came to you, hoping that this case would become less of a burden for me. Well, quite the opposite is happening. If you would represent me, I... Being handled with apparent neglect. Even that has its reason. 
It is often better to be in chains than to be free. Mr. Hall, what will you undertake on my behalf if you continue to represent me? I should continue with what I've already been doing for you. And that's just what I thought. You don't need to say another word.
this enormous organization. Its purpose is to wage pointless and meaningless prosecutions against innocent people. How are we to avoid those in office becoming deeply corrupt when everything is devoid of meaning? That is why this is
cette voie qui est dans l'œil. Thank you. 
like that. Blinding for granted. I was here for a
unlock the power.
People turned into bugs. At Tower, you'll sell cop specialist skills. Acquaint yourself with amicable arthropod associates.
I was told to come here. What next? Please congratulate you for your marriage. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> so? Tomorrow, to receive me at a judgment. Tomorrow? It's not ready yet. So why did I come here today? To learn that I have to come back tomorrow? Me. That doesn't make sense. That's his but what's the verdict? You know for sure. I mean that this class. This is the procedure. You and your procedures. You know my best friend is missing. I'm afraid something might have happened to him. Why am I thinking about him now? He might turn that back. Gregor would have helped me in this trial. He was always very agile, you know, with people, he could convince them. A born salesman. Please, now for your judgment! You already know the verdict. I may not disclose. You already said that. Goodbye. Oh, thank 
Oh my god. 